everybody, I'm back. <laughs> I was gonna say, welcome back. Uh, I've got this summer little recipe for you. I'm having dip for dinner. I wanna share it with you. And it's one of my favorites. It's a summer guacamole. So I've been saying, holy guacamole <laughs> for about the last 10 minutes, but come on back here real quick. My cool drink is going to be a Corona because I thought I want some Mexican beer with a Mexican dip. And I thought this is gonna be great. I do need to add my lime to my Corona, uh, but my vintage glass is gonna be a 19th 77 uh, Ralph Mal from the Happy Days collection and it was put out by Paramount Pictures one of my favorites I try to take care of it I only have him and Joni and that's it I can never find the rest of them I don't know they were hard to find so anyway I like this one um oh. big sip let me put, put a little squirt of lime in there yum yum mm. oh yeah oh yeah I'm liking that I'm liking that. Let me get everything out of the way here. I got all kinds of stuff going on here. All kinds of good stuff, guys. I don't know if you like guacamole. You can add what you want. I like all the good stuff in it. You know, I don't add onion, but everybody likes onion. So add your onions, add your peppers. And I tell you what, you only need about four basic ingredients and that's it. So come on back here real quick. Let me get my potato masher out. And I like chunky. I like it chunky. I know some people like it really smooth. Nah, nah. Now, I like mine a little bit on the little bit on the lumpy side. It just, you know, it just adds texture. It's just good. Oh, look at that. And I knew it too. I thought, you know, one of these isn't really, really that soft. There it is. Okay, I was gonna say, oh, one of these could be a little tough. And I couldn't find my, I cannot find my clear bowl. So we're doing it in this, but we're gonna transfer it to a pretty Mexican bowl. Cause I have all kinds of stuff that I bought on trips and all kinds, you know, the little Mexican flour bowls. And I got a new bag of chips. Cause I think when you're eating good dip, I like the Kali Da, I think that's it. Kali Da chips, they're my favorite. So anyway, oops, I lost my music. <laughs> always cable around here, always. But come on back here, guys. Look how fun this is. This is going to be great. And I tell you what, the four things you're going to add your, let's see, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget because the tomato, I looked up why people add what they do. And the tomatoes are to add a little bit of sweet. So you add as much tomatoes as you want. I should have probably diced a little finer, but I thought this was good. I thought this was okay. So I'm going to mix those in there. And you're going to add your onion for your crunch, if you want onion. And you're going to add your green jalapeno for your heat. And let me tell you something. When I was cutting these, I could feel the heat on my face. I could feel it in my cheeks. I was like, oh my gosh. I thought it's making me, I thought I can, you know, it's just like a, like a heat wave there. And I thought, I don't want to put my fingers in my eyes. So I thought, don't do that. I thought I would be screaming. So I'm going to add just a little. I'm not going to go all the way with all the jalapenos because I cut up several. And then you're going to add your cilantro because that gives it the herby quality, they said. So I was looking at all this thinking, why do we add what we add? I thought, why do we do what we do? Uh, I thought, because some people, you know, they don't like anything in it. And I thought, no, I want to make it kind of nice. I want to make it like the restaurants do. And believe it or not, when I looked up the whole deal, guacamole was just used for a condiment back in the days. It was just something to add. It was a condiment. Not anymore. Now it's an entire thing. It's an entire meal. People do all kinds of stuff. They add it to hamburgers. They make it as a dip. I put it on chalupas, which I'm going to do too. And guys, add a little squirt of lime. From what I understand is you don't add a lot of lime because then it takes away the taste from the from the avocado and you don't want to do that. And in fact, if you can't eat all this, you know what they say, you leave the you leave the uh, seed in here to come back and eat it another day. You know, you could put it away for a couple of hours, you're having a party, you're preparing it. That's what that's what you don't want it doing. You don't want it to turn black on you. That's not good. So there you go. Let me uh, add a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna add a little bit because I like the sea salt. Add whatever salt you want. Let me give this just a little taste. I've got the new chips. Oh yeah. I thought these are my favorite chips. I don't know if they have them at your grocery store, but they're one of my favorites. I'm crazy about it. Let me add those to my plate. I hope everybody's doing great. I thought about this. It's a little soon for me to come on. And I thought, you know what? I have to come on because these aren't going to last very long. Uh, for some reason, avocados like that. You got to work with avocado when you can. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. I can't tell you guys. So good. Here's the deal though. I'm going to add just a little bit more salt. 
and I'm going to add just a little bit more heat. I always burn myself when I, I end up, I end up, I end up coughing when I end up putting too much. But remember last time I was like, oh, that was embarrassing. So anyway, I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add it to my pretty flower bowl because I have this pretty flower bowl from Mexico. Put this over here. But I use a potato masher. I know I have seen people where they use the food processor, all that. Nah, nah, I'm not doing all that. I don't want to do all that stuff. So anyway, boy, it's it's just a warm. I'm not turning on the oven. I'm trying to cook these cool dishes. I like them. And like I tell you guys, I eat dip for dinner. That's just what I like. So anyway, I don't know if anybody else does, but I like that. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. You can either add all your chips. You can add your chips. But here's one of my favorite things, and I've done it before. I think I showed you on one of my old videos. I like my chips around my, but I like it as a tostada too. That's one of my favorite things. I add my guacamole to my tostada. I make it into a meal. Some people call it chalupas, tostadas. I grew up calling them chalupas when I was little. Now the restaurants are tostadas. You add your cheese and your sour cream, and you can make a whole plate of these. You have a excellent dinner and it's a light dinner you know it's not like anything that's going to fill you up some people add beans some people add meat whatever you like but i tell you these little shells are at the dollar store you get a whole stack of them the grocery store i think they're a dollar 39 or get your good kali da chips because those are my favorite they're just like the restaurant chips that's why i get them i'm gonna get one more taste oh i can't tell you how good this is uh, mm, guys i gotta give this a two big thumbs up it's cool it's nice it's refreshing and it's perfect for summer so think about it you may have this all at home already and before i go on i've got to show you the easy silly little project oh my gosh this was fun i was cleaning out my closet and i had some jeans that did not fit and i thought these jeans are never gonna fit i'm giving them up i stacked up a whole bunch of jeans but I saved a pair and I cut the legs off of them. Isn't this funny? I cut the legs off of them, guys, and I turned them into pot holders. And I know that's silly. And I even tried some artwork on it. And I'm not a very good artist, I can tell you that. But these are the, whoops, I hope it's not dirty. Uh, these are the pot holders. They're so easy. These are the legs. You're going to put a little piece of cloth in between to make it just more insulated, you know, in case you have to hold something that's really hot. So I had a t-shirt that was torn, cut it out in a square, put it between this, did my seam on the top and the bottom, and I did my little artwork, and I took a little loop so I can hang it. So I ended up doing the wine glass, I did the hurricane glass, and I did the martini glass. I thought it was so funny and it was so easy, guys. And the reason I wanted to do these is I don't want to ruin my good pot holders when we do fish fries and we barbecue. I, I'm tired of that. I thought I end up throwing them away after I buy them and everything. I thought these are going to be the ones for the outdoor stuff. So I liked them. I don't know if anybody else likes this idea, but it was so easy, guys. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you could stitch this by hand, in and out, in and out, you know, and then save a little strip for your loop to hang this from your barbecue pit. So this is so easy. And like I tell you, this is gonna take you more than about 10 minutes. Your guacamole is gonna take you about five minutes. Once you get your ingredients together, you're gonna be ready to go. Ready to go and you're gonna get to have this cool, refreshing meal. So anyway, thank you for coming back. And I hope everybody's having a great week. So big cheers of oh, this Corona is so good. Mm. So good, guys. Thank you and big kisses. Try this out. Bye.